Hey there, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul. It feels like we're always buying groceries around here. This is a small fill-in before I go to Costco in two weeks. So this costs, I don't know, I think like $2.50. I'll do the math and put it in here somewhere. Um, and yeah, there's my groceries. I'll go through and show you everything I got. Mostly Walmart pickup, but um, I did grab a couple things at Superstore that were on sale or that I couldn't get at Walmart but mostly Walmart because I work from home. I'm pretty busy and it's hard to find time to grocery shop. First off, let me show you a few things I'm making. I like to list fruit and like cross it off as we run out and also put it in the order that people should be eating it. So like bananas and grapes and strawberries should be first, then oranges, then watermelon, then apples last, and then applesauce and then canned oranges would be after that. So cereal, sandwich, chicken pot pie, we already had that. Um, cereal, ramen, chicken and asparagus and mashed potatoes. That was a whole chicken I made last night. Um, yeah, this is actually Wednesday. My kids had bagels for breakfast and they took their ramen for lunch that they were going to have yesterday because we had a snow day. We had mac and cheese at home this day instead. I'm making taco pasta for dinner, cereal, sandwich, Italian wedding soup with biscuits, smoothies, snack lunch. Um, that's like pepperoni, crackers, cheese, stuff like that, hard boiled egg, fruit, veggies, and then we're gonna make homemade pizza. So that is a week of meal ideas. And then I'll put a few of my other ideas in here and you can just take a screenshot if you'd like. All right, so like I said, I'll put a price in here somewhere cause I'm not sure how much it was. Walmart gave me a total, but I also had non-food items and then they substituted some things um, for the same price, but I mean like, I should say they weighed things like tomatoes and bananas and things like that ended up being a little different in price. But anyways, I'll show you what I got. Why don't we start with the superstore stuff though? So um, Walmart has been out of butter for forever, like salted butter. So um, I went and got butter at Superstore yesterday and I actually got two pounds, but we're already into one of them because we had bagels for breakfast this morning. So I got two of those. These, and then today I grabbed these items after I went to Walmart. So the Worcestershire sauce is so much cheaper than any other brand. And I really like this for Caesar salad dressing. I've tried making Caesar salad dressing without it and it just doesn't taste the same. I do mayo, lemon juice, um, Worcestershire sauce, and some garlic and it is so yummy. But this is a key ingredient I find. These hams are on sale for $2.94 and they're 600 grams as you can see, plus 30% off. So they were two bucks each, so I got two. Even though I bought ham last time I grocery shopped, I'm going to, so we still have a fair bit in the freezer. I'm gonna slice this up and freeze one and we'll use one for sandwiches this week. This Italian sausages were on sale, normally $16. With 30% off, they were $11. And this will be about three meals for us. I typically use sausage and things where meat is like a flavoring. So um, this should last a while, but we were out of sausage. So I wanted to get some. They had a couple other meats on sale, but I didn't bother. Um, cause we can, we can hold over. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hold over till I go to Costco in two weeks and do a huge shop. Um, and then for non-food items. So, um, I got this, it was on sale for nine seventy seven, and the original price was like $20. So that's going to last us forever. Honestly, probably like six months or more, even with doing laundry all the time. Needed more deodorant, which was also on sale. And that's it for non-food and non-Walmart. So everything, oh, dang it, missed something. Our milk order. So we get our milk delivered once every two weeks by this company called Couch and Milk, a local company. Um, and so I got four half gallons of whole milk and one half gallon of 2%. So this is for cereal, tea and stuff. This is for my two-year-old. He's supposed to be drinking 2%, but we tried to switch him over and we just found he was drinking way too much milk. 2% um, wasn't keeping him full, so we still give him whole milk, and it's fine. Um, and then we usually have to get a couple more jugs in between, um, but it doesn't add up to too much. Anyways, let's show you the rest of the food. So for produce, I got two bunches of bananas, bag of onions. I've been going through so many onions lately. Great. This was $8 for these, which I don't think is too bad. I feel like I got more in here than I usually get at Superstore. Superstore just upped their price for a clamshell of grapes from $6 to $8. And these grapes are much nicer than the Superstore ones. So I got those two bags of oranges. These are on sale for five bucks, normally eight. Um, oh, apples. These don't look amazing, but Walmart apples are never too awesome, but whatever. Um, lots of tomatoes. I got six Roma tomatoes and these are huge. So that's cool. Two cucumbers 
a sweet potato because I want to do, I've been seeing on like YouTube and TikTok videos, people mashing sweet potato and regular potato and mixing it. Apparently it's really good. So I want to try that. Um, and then peppers, cilantro, not sure what I'm using this for yet, but I just wanted to have it. And then I think that's it for fresh produce. For snacks, we've got some of these cookies. These are super cheap. Um, you get nine, like two pounds of cookies and it's 368. So I often get these. I'm just finding with the price of butter, it's so expensive to make cookies at home. I might like start buying blocks of margarine for baking and just use butter for like spreading on things. But anyways, baking cookies has been really expensive. So I've been buying these. And then, so I normally get the unsweetened strawberry applesauce, but they were out. So I got two unsweetened apple pear and one unsweetened plain apple. My little guys, my two-year-old and five-year-old have been absolutely obsessed with applesauce. And it's cheaper to get it in these containers and I find if I buy the jar, it goes bad really quick. So I do buy these and we do reuse the containers for, um, a few times before we recycle them. Um, my two-year-old and five-year-old also love these granola bars. They are $2 for eight. And I got two packs of these, 24 granola bars for, it was like $4.50 a box, pretty good deal. My husband's obsessed with these crackers and they are three for seven. Um, did I say I got a watermelon? I think I did. But one bag of chips. Chips have gone from three for three to 150 each. Very annoying, but one bag of chips. The veggie straws, because my two youngest are very obsessed with veggie straws right now. And I wanted to try these. They were $2 and they have 225 grams. That's sort of my, um, when I buy snacks, I like for it to be like a cent per gram or a dollar per hundred grams. So that was, I felt was a pretty good deal. Um, I got these popcorn twists because my daughter just got braces and she can't eat popcorn. And we usually do popcorn on Fridays when we watch a Friday movie. Um, I ordered the Great Value brand. They substituted with this one, which actually has more for free or for the same price. Um, and then I didn't actually need pasta, but Walmart is always out of their whole grain pasta. So when I see it, I like to buy a couple of boxes. So two boxes of whole grain penne. It's definitely more expensive than the white pasta, but I find my kids stay full if I serve them whole wheat pasta. Um, whereas if we do white pasta, like they're hungry an hour later or they eat twice as much, but this good in filling. It takes a while to digest. This was 94 cents for this baguette and um, I'm gonna use it for garlic bread. I'm just gonna seal the top with an elastic and freeze it until we're ready to use it. Sourdough bouilli, I've bought these a couple times and they are really good. They're like $3. Um, I haven't had time to bake sourdough. I've still been feeding my starter and stuff. Um, so I've been buying these and they're really good. Bag of fries for a meal. Um, I got, oh man, now I'm getting all confused. Um, oh yeah, some frozen strawberries there. Let's go down here. So pita bread for pizzas and I got a thing of dill pickle hummus, but they were out. It's the second time they've been out, which is annoying, but it is what it is. That's what I wanted the pita for for me. But so instead we're just gonna use these for mini pizzas. Um, two things of jalapenos, um, they were two for five or like $4 for one, so it made sense to get two. I got this because roasts were on sale um, last, like two weeks ago. And so I stocked up a little bit and I really like using this seasoning for a crock pot roast. I'm gonna do that for dinner one night. Some pickles, um, some mushrooms for tuna casserole, salt, um, 77 cents for this. This is like um, sweetened with stevia and has no dyes and stuff. Not that I'm too worried about dyes to be honest, but I like the fact that it has stevia instead of sucralose. Um, I got this for my husband, he requested that chocolate chips because I want to do like a big chocolate chip cookie cake thing for dessert one night. My husband's favorite mixed vegetables. Um, and then here, this ground beef was on sale $10 for, it's about three pounds here. Yeah, three pounds. So that's a good deal. That'll be three meals for us. Yeah, it was three forty-seven a pound, I think. I always get this pepperoni. I don't eat it really except for a pizza, but the kids and my husband eat it. My favorite creamer, this. So these are the things that, even though there's cheaper options for sure, we still get them because my husband really likes them. This is mine. I've got to have this International Delight creamer. It is so good. Um, I got this sweetened condensed milk and this microfiltered milk because I am just going to make yogurt. Yogurt has been so expensive. So I'm just going to make yogurt in my Instant Pot. Super easy. If you use microfiltered milk, you dump these things in. I also add vanilla and some starter yogurt and um, you can just press yogurt. You don't have to bring it to a boil and cool it or anything like that. That's all you gotta do. 
some cheese, marble, pizza, mozzarella, and old cheddar. I like to use, or my husband likes to eat the marble for snacks, and pizza mozzarella for pizza that we're having on Friday, and the old cheddar, that's my preference, but I often use that in cooking because then you can use a little bit less. Um, and then two things of cream cheese. One of those is for taco pasta. Eggs, we shockingly did not need 30 eggs this week, so I just got a 12 pack. And then this cereal is the cheapest cereal, really. It was like 350 for 765 grams, so I got that. And then my son is obsessed with Cheerios. My five-year-old, he eats them almost every morning for breakfast, so I got those, and they were also on sale for 487. So that's it for today's grocery haul. So after last week's haul, or it was two weeks ago, I did buy a couple more things. They had steak and roast on sale at Superstore for $5.99 a pound. So I stocked up on those a little bit. Um, adding things like that, plus like extra jugs of milk and stuff to my, to um, to my grocery spending total, um, I have figured out, I've tracked for January and February, and I spend pretty much always 900 a month. Like it could be a couple dollars more or a couple dollars less, but usually about 900 when you include running to the store and grabbing like extra milk, things like that, which I don't think is too bad for six people, but yeah, um, I'm also in Canada, so things can be more expensive here. Um, and a lot of people I know who have similar family size actually spend probably more like 12 to 1500. So I'm pretty happy with like 900. I think it's a comfortable budget. Anyways, and that's just for food. It doesn't include like non-grocery items. If I included those, it'd probably be about a thousand a month. Anyways, let me know what your grocery budget is and your family size and where you live in the comments if you'd like. And thanks for watching. Forgot to add, I also got this ketchup, um, $3.99 on Amazon. It's a stevia sweetened ketchup. I usually get a President's Choice brand one, but it's gone up to five bucks. And so I figured I would just get the Amazon one because it's cheaper.